What's up, everyone? Deuce is Jack at VapingInsider.com. Today, I got something a little different for you than my usual stuff. I got the Ceres Vape Calvary Kit. Basically, a hybrid mechanical mod with an included RDA. And let me tell you something, man. This is a heavy one. It's really nicely built. Let's cut down low. Let me show you everything. We'll drop a build in it. We'll wick it. We'll juice it up. We're going to come back on top. We'll talk about it. Cons, pros, out of here as usual. I'll see you down low. All right, everyone. Welcome to the down low portion of this video. Today, we're going to be doing the Ceres Vape Cavalry Kit. Here's a quick tour around the box. Okay, Ceres Vape branding over there. Nothing. A little bit of authenticity code right there, okay? On the back of the box, you'll see that we get one Cavalry mod, one Cavalry RDA, user manual, accessory bag, and a black Delrin drip tip. Let's open this thing up and let me show you what we got. First thing you'll notice, we got a little shortened instruction type of card there, all right? No manual, really, okay? They're saying that it's eco-friendly brass, which is a special treatment of a scrub effect. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Um, it does it does fit single 18650 batteries. Here's a little pictorial instruction thing going on here. All right. Let me show it to you up close and personal. We get a bag full of spares here. We have some spare O-rings. We have a spring. The installed switch is a magnet switch. Here is an Allen key. And we get some extra post screws and a squonking pin just in case you want to use the atomizer on a squonker. All right, so that's a nice touch. Here is your spare drip tip, dock style drip tip. All right, that's probably the one we're going to be using. And you'll understand why when I show you the drip tip that comes included. All right, let's do a quick tour around the actual RDA. All right, non-adjustable airflow. Look at this drip tip. I really think, I mean, after getting that UFO RDTA, I think somebody at Ceres Vape has a phallic problem. I really do a phallic obsession. We're going to be getting rid of this drip tip, but let's put that to the side for a second. All right, let me show you the actual mod. Okay, now this thing is made out of brass. There's some cavalry branding right there and there. All right, very, very deep engraving, okay? They did a nice job on this. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. They did a beautiful job on it. They really did. Okay, on the top, we have a hybrid connection with some vent holes here. What's kind of cool is when the RDA is on the mod, you know, they got these cross cutouts here. So, God forbid a battery vents on you. It's going to vent away from your face. Great, great design, Ceres Vape. Really nice job on that. But the really interesting thing about this is the switch. Now, in order to take the switch out, you simply give it a little twist like this, right? You unscrew it about halfway until you can get your fingers in there. And then you just pull the switch out. And look at that. There's your insulator. There's your contact right there. And it's got a little bit of a raise on it, okay? And you've got these two big, beefy magnets. Now, you can take these magnets out and use the spring that I showed you in the spare parts bag, okay? But this is brass also, but it looks like some type of treated brass. It really does. This comes all the way out, and basically, this piece right here lets you adjust your throw. If you want a long throw, you don't screw it in that far. If you want a short throw, you screw it in almost all the way, okay? But kind of cool, right? And there's like an O-ring in here. I don't know if you can see that. See that O-ring? And that's what keeps everything kind of nice and tight. And also on the inside, you have this Delrin protector sleeve. Just in case one of your batteries has a wrap, you know, it'll keep you safe. I mean, you're using mech mods, so you should always be checking your batteries before you put them in. On the bottom, there is also like a little, I don't, I don't know if you'd call it an O-ring, a little silicone plate. But it basically stops your battery from making contact to the top part of the brass on the bottom there. And that's another safety feature built in, just in case you got a nick on the top of your battery. Great job on that, Cyrus Vape. Really, you guys did a bang-up job. Now, because the venting is over here, what I would do, I, I guess the proper way to put this in would be positive side first and have your negative side on the bottom. So when you put it in, you just push your switch in like that. And now you'll see my switch is a little bit raised, okay? But if you put it down... The weight 
of the mod does not fire it, okay? But you can screw it in if you want a shorter throw, right? You just keep screwing it in until you find the throw that you like, okay? And that's that's basically it, man. I mean, they did a nice job on this. They really did. I mean, look at it. This material here, I don't know what it is. I'm thinking that's that process thing they're talking about. Uh, what did they call it? They called it the scrub effect. It's almost like a nylon kind of V-God-ish kind of feel to it, like with from the V-God mech mods, kind of like that, okay? And like I said, when you take your RDA and you put it on top, all right, just like this, God forbid something vents, you're going to vent out of here and probably out of the space between the switch over there, all right? But at least it's venting away from your face, all right? Let me show you the RDA. This is the drip tip, all right? It is a goon-style drip tip, but it's, like I said, I think they got a phallic obsession. I really do think so. There's two airflow holes over here, okay? And they line up with airflow slots right there. See that? Okay, so I guess you can get a little bit of top airflow if you use this. That might be the only advantage to it, all right? Pull the barrel off, and we'll go over the deck in a minute inside it's all brass as you can see okay no conical design they probably should have put some type of conical design in there would have given it better flavor the airflow is not adjustable it's a one-piece barrel the top part does not come off all right so if you don't like the airflow on this one you're just shit out of luck all right let me show you the deck because the deck is really interesting i'm not going to do a build on it because it's too simple i mean it's extremely simple to do a build on this it's almost got like a like a reverse dead rabbit style deck, right? In other words, on the dead rabbit, you mount your coils up here. But on this one, you mount them below. And it's kind of like, uh, I call it like a, it almost looks like a hangman kind of deck to me, right? It looks like like a, like this part looks like a, like something you'd put a hangman's noose off of. So kind of cool, man. You put your coils right there, all right, where I showed you. And the only bad thing about it is your leads do get twisted with flat wire builds, okay? So you got to make sure, you know, you're careful. But really easy to trim your leads on top right here. Fantastic job on that, all right? These O-rings are extremely tight. I mean, I don't know if you can see them. They're ripping. I think Ceres Vape could have definitely done a better job on the actual O-rings, all right? But other than that, man, it's a nice RDA. It's got good flavor. The... The mech mod is built extremely well. Okay, let me show you how to wick this thing up. All right, wicking material I'm going to be using today is Cotton Bacon Prime. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to give it a little roll, a little twist. We're going to wick it. We're going to pull those wicks through. All right, just like that. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to cut it right around the second O-ring right there. Okay, so you give it a little snip right there. Okay. And now you just take your other piece of cotton and you just pull it through the other side, just like we did on the front side. And it should look something like that, right? And then, like I said, we're going to cut it right around the second O-ring right there. Okay. And the same thing on this side. We're going to cut it right around that second O-ring. And the same thing on this one right around that second o-ring then what you want to do is take whatever cotton type of tool you use i like to use a dental pick all right and you just kind of nice and gently tuck your cotton in there and pull it to the side all right just like that make sure you leave some space in between there okay and that's it you're all wicked up juice i'm using today is bluebird this must be my 10th or 12th bottle it's a blueberry cheesecake and crunch juice i mean this stuff is just phenomenal i'm cracking open a brand new bottle for this build you take your dropper and what i like to do is i like to put a little juice in the well right away all right just to get things started and then you just kind of start painting your coils once you got it all juiced up now you're ready for vapor see that all right now you put your top cap back on. Make sure you line up your airflow. Like I said, this top cap is extremely tight. All right. And now 
we can take our non-phallic looking drip tip and put it on. All right? And there you go. You're all ready to vape. All right? Let's cut back on top. Let's talk about it. Cons, pros, and we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone. Welcome back on top. And you just saw the Ceres Vape Calvary Kit up close and personal. I mean, I have to tell you, this thing has a real stunning finish to it. The finish on it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I've seen this in black. I've seen it in red and blue. The blue looks stunning. It just looks gorgeous, okay? Um, let's get into the official cons and pros. First con is going to be, I touched on it already, no adjustable airflow. I also touched on the fact that there's no conical design, no doming on the interior of the top cap. We're going to give them a con for that. I'm also going to give them a con on that silly drip tip. The one that I showed you down low, the, the, uh, that curvy one. Ceres Vape, what, what's going on over there? Is somebody in your company have like a phallic issue? I mean, enough with the, you know, it, it reminds me of that UFO thing you guys did. I mean, enough with that drip tip already. I, trust me, nobody in this country, no male, wants to vape on a drip tip like that. Take my word for it. Scrap that drip tip and get rid of it. All right. Other con I'm going to give them is that button. It protrudes a little bit. Yeah, you can put it down on a desk and its weight won't fire it. But I don't like the fact that it sticks out like that. I, I wish I could screw it all the way in. Okay, so they're going to get a con on that. And I'm also going to give them a con on the build deck. Even though it's innovative, it's not the easiest deck to build on. Okay, it's a little finicky. Let's get into the pros because there's quite a few of them, okay? First pro is going to be 810 drip tip compatible. Great job on that. Let's give them a pro for the plastic battery sleeve. I like that. Safety first. Good job on that. No battery rattle. This thing's in there nice. Give them a pro on that, okay? Vent holes on the top. So God forbid your battery vents. Those slots are pushing the venting away from your face. I like that. Good job on that, okay? Brass construction. They'll get a pro on that. Gorgeous. Deep engraving. Pro. Awesome build quality. This thing just feels solid. It doesn't feel like a, like a, like a piece of Chinese metal. They did a great job on it. They really did. Comfortable to hold. The form factor, that bulge in the middle, just makes it fantastic. Good job on that. Pro. Nice O-ring tolerance. Squonk pin included. Hey, <laughs> that's a nice plus, man. I mean, it's not like I would take this RDA and run it on anything else, but if it was my only RDA and I had a squonker and I needed a squonk pin, that's kind of cool. Good job on that, okay? I'm going to give them a pro because this thing hits pretty hard. They'll get a pro for that. Let's give them a pro on the awesome finish. The finish on this thing is gorgeous. Pro. I'm also going to give them a pro for the throw on that button and the fact that it's adjustable. Love that. Great job. Comfortable button to use. I like that, okay? And my last pro is I like the fact that if you run the goon style drip tip, you can just drip right down the middle, blurt your juice there. That's a pro, okay? And that's it. That's all I got for you on the Ceres Vape cavalry kit remember this is a mechanical hybrid mod so do me a favor if you buy this in one of the links down below please know your ohms law know what you're doing you know make sure you have some experience behind you before you attempt to vape on something like this they are safe but you got to know what you're doing just know your battery safety know your ohms law before you purchase something like this we'll have links down below as to where you can buy it we're also going to have a link down below to Caterpillar Juice, Mad H, basically a mystery flavor, fruity sort of vape. If you're into those fruity types of vapes, it's summertime now. Definitely pick yourself up a bottle of this. Really, really good stuff. We'll also have a link to our forum, vapinginsider.com forward slash forum. Make sure you hit us up over there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. Hit that thumbs up button. That's it for today. I'm out of here. You guys keep living that vape life. We'll see you on the next one. Deuces.